Okay, so let's assume that we're happy with our enhancement settings. We look at codec settings, that's exactly what I want. My resolution is everything, everything is perfect and that's what I want. So what are my options to export? So if you look at the bottom, you have cloud export. So if I was to click this and send this out, this would require credits. And if you look here, I don't have any credits, but that's okay. It's not gonna stop us from at least clicking the button. So let's do cloud export. And it tells me it's going to cost me four credits, so I need to make sure I have the four credits available to do that. Um, and it'll take roughly 12 minutes. Now, the 12 minutes does not actually start until the job is picked up. That could be a couple of minutes before the job is actually picked up. So this is great to do batches or larger files. Uh, but if you're trying to do a few seconds here and there you might you may as well just do that locally or just know if you're going to send a bunch of smaller videos that the 12 minutes is actually once it gets picked up in the cloud please take note of the warnings um, i'll have you take a look at that at a later time and there's plenty of documentation to go over uh, the cloud itself so the general case is once you're ready to send to the cloud you could hit this button here to start to export and that'll go through since I don't have any credits, I'm going to hit cancel. Export as is if you click this, it allows you to name the file name. So I could go ahead and change this as final. Or if you want to change the location, you could also do that here with export as. If you hit this button, the quick export, everything is on default with quick export. It doesn't give you any options, it just renders out your footage. So let me go ahead and just do that with this one right here. Keep in mind, it's using codec settings here and it is using the adjustments that are here. I don't always have to have a preview in order for that to happen. It's just whatever's showing here, it's assuming that's the data you want. Okay, so click export. And now when you hit export, you can go to your export queue. It'll show you the location it's going to, the status of the render. You could also pause it. Okay, you could always resume. You could select all sources. So if you have multiple sources, and I have the turtle one here, or one with the crustacean, or the other building. Uh, so that's all sources, otherwise it's just whatever is selected here. You could always change newest or oldest. And a few other options is if you click on this button here, you could open an external player once it's ready, show in the explorer, copy these settings. You could also see the fmpeg command if you need that. It could stop the processing completely, so that it kills it. it's not a pause. And, or you could pause and then continue. If you had multiple, let's say, videos and they may be a little bit longer format, you could change the priority order. So if you have one that you have for a client and that's higher priority and the other one is just for internal testing or just a personal project, you could move the client one from third to first. Okay. You can always close the video once it's available or close all of them once it's available. And just like dealing with sources, if you have two or three selected, that number will show what's selected. Now you can just simply click this to view export and it's going to bring based on whatever your player is. And there's the result. That essentially covers the export process.